Hey guys, so today I have a new journal. I decided to get an A5 because I just find that I really like the bigness of it, I guess is the word I'm trying to say. Um, and so I'm just going to show you guys how I decorate my front cover. So um, I actually made this whole front cover on Procreate. This is my handwriting and my illustration and then I just printed it out and I pasted it over canvas type paper that I ended up buying on Amazon and then I just hole punched it in the size of A5 and now I'm just going to decorate it with a picture of me and some other stuff like that. This is going to be a really short video because it didn't actually take me that long to do this one because in retrospect this is pretty much already decorated. I was going back and forth on whether or not I even wanted to actually decorate it because it seemed like it could have been unnecessary because it was already so decorative with the night sky and the clouds and the wording which is actually one of my favorite songs. I love the Rod Stewart version but I also love the Nat King Cole version. I'm used to listening to the Nat King Cole version because my grandma always plays it um, and it's just such a pretty song and I thought it looked pretty over the sky I guess. But yeah, after finishing this, I am completely happy with the fact that I ended up going back and um, doing the decorations because I feel like it was kind of just too dull for my liking. I like my journals to be very, I guess for lack of a better word, I like them to be very like collage type style, but not too collage because collages tend to be like everything piled together with like no spacing but i do like there to be some spacing when i'm doing my journals so i just tried to keep to the space theme and every single one of these stickers guys were from the dollar store except the one that says like paint sleep eat something like that that was actually from michael's and it was on sale but this one that i have with like the space panda dollar store and Oh my gosh guys throwing it way back i found these lisa frank stickers i am obsessed i used to have lisa frank notebooks pens pencils you cannot tell me anything about lisa frank back in the day i ended up buying three of these even though i did not need three but i just figured what if i never see these again and this is like my childhood come to life Okay, I also bought these like a minute ago from the dollar store. I thought they were stickers when I first bought them weeks ago, but then I found out that they're actually these like place and scratch. So it's kind of like a scratch off where you just place it down and when you scratch it, it places itself onto your paper or whatever you put it on. Um, I ended up doing just one half of my first name because my name's really freaking long. So I just did Troy and not Troy Nicole because I don't think I would even have enough room to put Nicole. But um, it ended up being really cute. I ended up really liking it. Sorry for the shakiness. Um, my desk is really cheap. I'm pretty sure it's like at most a $20 desk. So it shakes whenever I do anything. But yeah, so then I'm just going to put the volume, which I put volume two because I've just been doing it in the sense of the style of journals. So this one's a six ring binder and I only have one other six ring binder. And so I put volume two for this one because if I would have done like all journals, it would have been like volume 52. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is probably the quickest video I have on here, but I uh, hope you enjoyed and go check out some of my other videos until I see you in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts.